We've sent rovers like Perseverance to explore Mars's surface, but the real goal is to send humans there. Now, NASA's plan to put astronauts on Mars by the 2030s is no longer science fiction. The problem is Mars is not an easy place to land. In fact, it's a frozen desert with no breathable air, extreme cold and deadly radiation. So NASA is developing some pretty insane tech to keep humans alive, like advanced habitats, spacesuits, and life support systems. They're even researching ways to grow food on Mars. And once astronauts arrive, they won't be coming back anytime soon. Not only is Mars 140 million miles away, but the technology to return safely to Earth simply doesn't exist yet. So this plan isn't just about exploration. It's about building the first human colony on another planet. But if we can pull it off, it would be a giant leap for humanity. It would mean that we are no longer a single planet species. We would have a second home on the red planet. That's why so many people are working on this. It's a once-in-a-lifetime shot at leaving our problems here on Earth and starting over on a new world. Okay, now let's talk about some of the insane tech that NASA is developing to make this possible. First up, we have the Mars Dune Alpha habitat. This is where astronauts will live and work on the surface of Mars. It's designed to simulate the conditions on Earth as closely as possible so that astronauts can feel comfortable and safe inside. The habitat will have everything that astronauts need to survive, including air, water and food. It will also be able to withstand the harsh Martian environment, such as dust storms and meteorite impacts. Next, we have the Mars spacesuit. This is what astronauts will wear when they go outside the habitat. It's designed to protect them from the cold, vacuum of space and cosmic radiation. The suit will also allow astronauts to move around easily and perform tasks such as exploration and sample collection. Finally, we have the Mars Life Support System. This is what will keep astronauts alive on Mars by providing them with the resources they need to survive. The system will include oxygen and water recycling systems, as well as a greenhouse for growing food. All of these technologies are currently being developed by NASA and its partners, and the agency plans to test them in a variety of environments, including deserts and volcanic areas on Earth, as well as in space. So is Mars really our destiny? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the journey will be epic.